the student in school was a, ta is, was a talented boy, mm. but um, in terms of academic, not able. Mm. Because even today, if you tell Magiro to light, you'll not be able to light. <laughs> if you tell Magiro to lead, it is an issue, it's a problem. Right. It is approximately a two hour 27 minutes drive from the Nairobi CBD to the famous waterfalls of River Gondo in Mathioya constituency Moranga County where one John Magiro Wangare, a form for liver, has his innovation Magiro Mini Hydroelectric Power Plant situated. John Magiro Wangare, medium and project here Magiro Mini Hydroelectricity Project in Moranga County. From a tender age, John had this unwavering desire to learn about power connections. He had an inborn gift, but nonetheless, many had a lot of misconceptions about his art and even tipped him for a madman. The story of this youthful chap is that of triumph against a series of innumerable challenges, several attempts and misconceptions from many, as is the case with almost all distinguished men in society today. He had to sell rabbits to make little savings to see his project come to life. According to his high school principal, John may not have been a strong student academically, but he was outrightly gifted from his day-to-day -day activities. The student in school was a, ta is, was a talented boy, mm. but um, in terms of academic, not able. Because even today, if you tell Magiro to light, you'll not be able to light. <laughs> if you tell Magiro to lead, it is an issue, it's a problem. Right. But tell him to give you power, he will give you power. <laughs> Using the, dyna the, the dynamo and all those, he knew all the terms. Yeah of all the machines that he was using. From his curiosity of how a simple bicycle dynamo works to how alternators power electrical systems from waterfalls was born this hydroelectric power plant that has transformed the lives of many in Mathioya constituency. Uh, this is the river Gondo. Uh -huh. and this is where I decided to build the water intake. Uh -huh. But after we collect the water intake, because what we require it is uh, the pressure of the water. Yeah. Then to go through the pipe, uh, direct the turbine. Okay. The turbines in the powerhouse, he says, convert the kinetic energy of falling water from the waterfalls into mechanical energy, which is in turn converted into electrical energy by the generator he has since gotten from well wishers. Uh, the work of the water it is only to rotate the, tur the turbine. Oh, the turbine in this? Uh, the turbine is inside the, the powerhouse. All right. After that, the turbine is rotated. It rotated the knob of the alternator, the big alternator, okay. which is now producing about uh, 650 kilowatt. Uh -huh. and after it generated the power, it then uh, used the step up transformer, uh -huh. which produced about 11, uh, 1100 kilowatt. Uh -huh. Then we step down for the domestic use, that is a 415 watt. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then the water it go back to the river. After getting the go ahead from the Kenya Energy Regulatory Commission, he has been able to supply this power to over 400 households in his community and at an affordable price. The first beneficiary of his project though was his mother who had to sell bananas to see him through secondary school. His power project has positively impacted the lives of many, including businessmen 
who are grateful to him for literally lighting up their lives. Kwa majina yangu mimi naitwa Steven Moya Watoro. Mimi ndiye chairman wa hii Timba Center. Hapo samani tulikuwa tunatumia mafuta ya taa. Stima John Magiro. Eh tangu atueke tunaona ni msuri na hata mbei anapolipisa sisi ni bei ship atulipisha shilingi 200 eh kwa mwezi saa tuna ona tupeleka vizuri ah tumeamua kuchukua East Majon Magilo juu ya Kenya Power imekaa sana saidia miaka tano hivi East Majon Magilo imenisaidia sana sasa nimesahau mambo ya gotela sasa ni kuasha tu stima ikopoa kabisa Kenya as a country has numerous waterfalls ranging from the renowned Fourteen Falls, Gura Falls, Karuru Falls, the Chania Falls, the Lugard and Thompson's Falls in Nyahururu, just to name but a few. John hopes to stretch his innovation to all regions endowed with waterfalls within and without the country to ensure that he reduces the numbers of those living without electricity. Kenya mzima kona yote kwenye kuna fall nitakuwa nikipata uwezo Uh, from Madonna's from uh, Welo Isas naweza kuwa na sub uh, project in Kenya or outside the country John is viewed by many in his community and its environs not only as a hero but as a living example of why parents and teachers who don't have academically strong children need to tap into the talents and gifts of their children once they spot them the fact that he was not able to perform well in class did not discourage him from moving on let us not throw away students that are not performing well in class. I believe that God has a blessing for every child. Chenye mtoto anataka akiwa kutoka mtoto mdogo awe hiyo talanta yake ajulikane iko wapi. Kama wengine wali wali walimaliza form 4 walikuwa na talanta but uh, kwa masomo hawakuwa nafanya vile uh, kwa masomo walikuwa hawakutoka na ile alama yenye inasemekana wanaweza anjiliwa kazi. So wao wako na talanta ambayo wanaweza wakigundua mtu akisaya gundua talanta yake anaweza kufanya mambo makubwa sana. Kenya Power akiwa na mimi nikiwa Kenya itaendelea. Kevin Phillips Momanyi Faces of Kenya.